Hi everyone, it's Renee with Not Sorry for the Story, an unapologetic take on current affairs. And yes, I'm here again, bold as a lion, with a truth that I just want to drop in this atmosphere. First, I want to say to Don Cherry, who was fired by Sportsnet this past week for controversial comments, I want to say to him, I'm asking him to forgive us. This moment that has happened over this past week is not so much about you, but it is a reflection on us. And once again, we have majored on the minor. This is not to ignore anyone who felt hurt by comments that he made, especially that term, you, t you people. You people is a sensitive term for many, but we have lost the context of what he was speaking about. He actually began that comment by saying that he was discouraged by um, what he's seeing, the response he's seeing in, re in response to his campaign that he's had for veterans for years. And a veteran actually told him to stay in the fight. And so at the end of those comments, he said, yes, I, I will stay in the fight. I will keep it going. But because he used the term you people, and because he mentioned about coming here and wanting um, to have the milk and honey of the land, that got blown up and everything else fell to the ground. Well, I want to say that this Canadian caught it. I caught the comments, the fullness of what it was meant to be, and he was encouraging us to value our veterans and value Remembrance Day by this one small act. I don't think that any of us can really argue with that main point. Of course, in the flurry of things, that main point wanted to be lost because people got offended. Once again, our sensibilities, our experience, not liking certain terms, we lost the main message. Can I say sometimes that there is truth in something, but the way it's said is not always right? And we want to major on people saying things right more than the truth. And this is where we're going to be in big trouble in the days ahead unless we learn to value truth no matter what package or instrument it comes through. This past week, in response to Mr. Cherry's comments, we had Jess Allen on the social also bring forth comments that did not help the matter at all. But it seemed obvious to me that there's either some trauma she's had in the past that triggered her to make those comments. Now, listening to her, I thankfully had that understanding. And I realized, okay, yes, your comments weren't helpful either, but I had that understanding. We need to have understanding in between us, not just hear comments and then want to shoot and fire one of our own. We need to be able to take what is being said and take it from our elders. I think that this past week was a very shameful example of how we are willing to do away with our elders in our community because they don't speak to us in a way that is palatable for us. Shame on us. But I trust even in the midst of this scenario, good will come from it. We're coming out of a divisive election where Politicians have said now they're going to seek to have a more balanced tone. Following the election, um, I had this shirt created. Thank you, Mr. Pro. It says, unity is our strength because diversity is not our strength. It's unity. And this came this past week to again attack our unity. But I trust that through it all, we will stand united, province to province, territory to territory, from sea to shining sea. And we will stand on guard for this nation and do whatever it takes to see that we stay unified. Take care and let us keep on standing on guard.